this session we will be discussing about solution chapter. Now let's have a quick introduction about solution. So what do you mean by solution? Solution is nothing but a homogeneous mixture of a solute which is present in the smaller quantity and the sol solvent which is present in the larger quantity. Therefore, we can write it as solute plus solvent which is equal to solution. However, in the case of solution of solid and liquid, no matter what is the quantity of the solid, liquid always forms the solvent. In order to find out the amount of solute present in a specific amount of solvent, we can find out through concentration. There are n number of expression of concentration. So, we will categorize them into two types, type 1 unit and type 2 units. Two types of concentrations, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 unit specifies the amount of solute present in a given volume of solution. Specify the amount of solute in volume of solution such as molarity, normality, density, etc. Whereas type 2 units specify the amount of solute present in a given mass of solution or solvent such as mass percentage, then uh, molality, mole fraction and so on. Let us write down that. Type 2 units specify amount of solute in a mass of solution or solvent percentage by mass, molality and mole fraction. Dear students, just note that type 2 units are temperature independent. Now let us learn about the different ways of representation of concentration. First and foremost we have here weight percentage which is given as W by W percentage and the formula is nothing but weight of the solute divided by weight of solution into 100. Similarly percentage by volume or volume percentage is given by V by V percentage is equal to volume of solute divided by volume of solution into 100. Now coming to the another case parts per million, it is simply called as PPM and it is given as weight of solute in gram divided by weight of solution in gram into 10 to the power 6. Just note that PPM concentration term is always used when the solute quantity is in smaller amount or it is present in the traces amount.
one more expression is the strength which is given as S which is equal to weight of solute in gram divided by volume of solution in liter or it is simply written as W by V and the unit is gram per liter. And moving on to the next expression which is very famous that is molarity and it is represented as capital M and it is given as the number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. The moles of solute is represented as small n and it is nothing but weight divided by molecular weight. Moving on to the further expression, when there is a dilution then molarity, of the dil uh, molarity on the dilution is given as m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 where m1 and m2 represents initial and final molarity whereas v1 and v2 represents initial and final volume. If we have to find out the volume of solvent added then we have to just minus v final minus v initial or v2 minus v1. Otherwise if we have to find out the molarity of a mixture when there are more than two components then we can make use of this expression that is molarity mix into V mix is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3 otherwise molarity mixture is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3 divided by V mix. Dear friends, you DVG YouTube channel subscribe to our friends. You can see the videos on the free